Pirates parade on Main Street, Big Easy rocks out, and court is finally in session. This is the hot spot. Hi everyone, I'm Taryn Southern, bringing you up to speed on what's hot this week. Johnny Depp, Penelope Cruz, and Jeffrey Rush are headed to Disneyland for Saturday's world premiere of Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. If you can believe it, tickets are $1,000 each, but my hot tip is, if you're already in the park when it closes at 5, you can stay and watch the red carpet arrivals on Main Street USA. If you stick around even longer, you can catch a free 3D sneak peek of the movie inside Disney's Festival Arena. The highly anticipated premiere is expected to draw bigger than normal crowds, so you better get there early and stake out your spot. All right, let's check in with our heat seekers who will tell you what's burning up this week in sports and music. What up, Hoop Dreamers? Fitzy here, and today we're talking NBA playoffs. Playoffs? Which this year happen to have more storylines than a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Like Kobe and the Lakers, will they be the first team to three-peat since Jordan's Bulls in 1998? Derrick Rose, will this likely NBA MVP be the heir with an H to air with an A Jordan's championship days with those Chicago Bulls. DYK, did you know that if the Lakers win, that'll give Kobe six rings, which matches a certain his anus. LeBron, D-Wade, and Bosh. Can the Heat's big three take their talents all the way from South Beach to the NBA Finals? And will playoff basketball be enough to compel Heat fans to actually watch entire games? Fact. Heat fans were so blasé about going to games earlier in the season that the organization had to institute a program called Fan Up just to get people to show up on time and pay attention. Like that would ever happen in Boston. There's a lot happening in music this week. The New Orleans Jazz Fest is happening, and for those of you who don't know, it's not just about jazz anymore. The Arcade Fire and the Strokes are both playing, and the Arcade Fire just headlined at Coachella, and their set was basically considered a religious experience. They threw out a thousand glowing beach balls into the audience, and even Rihanna tweeted about how great it was, so who knows what they'll be bringing to the Jazz Fest. Another big thing happening this week is Jennifer Lopez's new album called Love, which drops on Tuesday. Also coming out this week is the Beastie Boys' new album, The Hot Sauce Committee Part 2. It was supposed to be a two-part album, but now it's just one. And one of the big things delaying the release was Adam Yauch's diagnosis of cancer. But now he's feeling better, and the Beastie Boys are back on track. That's what you need to know this week. See you next time on The Hot Spot. Make sure you stay in the know, subscribe here, and check back every Tuesday for brand new episodes. Have an idea for a show or an event you'd like us to cover? Leave a comment below. They're expected to sell out cookie. <laughs> quickie. Let's get a quickie.